Rust, we all know it as the reddish-brown flaky coating that appears on iron or steel when it has been left out in the rain for too long. But did you know that hidden rust can be a silent threat to the structural integrity of any building? In this video, we'll teach you how to spot signs of rust and help you understand what it means for your structure's stability. So if you're a homeowner, a property investor, or just someone who wants to learn more about home maintenance, then stick around. By the end of this video, you lines know how to look out for hidden rust and what steps to take if you find any in your own home. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about what rust is and why you should care. Rust forms when iron or steel reacts with oxygen and water. This reaction, called corrosion, causes the metal to weaken and break down into a reddish-brown flaky substance. Now you might be thinking, big deal, it's just some flaky paint, but here's where it gets serious. Rust weakens the metal so much that it can compromise the structural integrity of a building. That means that rust can cause steel beams, columns and other load-bearing elements to become brittle and more likely to crack or even collapse. And that's not something you want to happen, especially if you re in a high-rise building or an older structure that may not have been maintained as well as it should have been. Now let's talk about how to spot signs of rust in your building. The first place to look is anywhere there is exposed metal. This includes beams, columns, railings and other structural elements. Look for signs of rust, peeling paint, flaking or discoloration. Even if you can't see any rust, it's a good idea to check for cracks or gaps in the metal. These could be signs that water is getting in and causing corrosion. And don't forget about the hard-to-reach places like above ceilings or below floorboards. You might need a flashlight or a ladder to get a good look. If you do spot any rust, don't panic, but do take action. We'll talk more about that later in the video. Alright, so now that you know where to look for rust, let's talk about how to prevent it from forming in the first place. One way to do this is by using corrosion-resistant materials. This is especially important in areas that are prone to moisture, such as bathrooms and kitchens. For example, you could use stainless steel, which is more resistant to rust than regular carbon steel. Another option is to apply a protective coating to the metal surfaces. This could be a paint, a varnish, or a metal coating. Be sure to choose a product that is specifically designed to prevent rust. Whatever you do, don't wait until you see signs of rust. At that point, it's already too late. Remember, the key to preventing rust is to be proactive, not reactive. Let's say you've done everything right, but you still end up with some rust on your hands. What then? Well, the good news is that rust damage can often be repaired. The first step is to consult with a structural engineer to assess the damage. They will determine how far the rust has spread and how much of the metal has been weakened. Depending on the severity of the damage, they may recommend a variety of solutions. In some cases, it may be possible to simply remove the rust and repaint the affected areas. However, if the damage is more extensive, the affected metal may need to be replaced. Ultimately, the goal is to stop the spread of rust and ensure that your structure is safe and sound. We hope this video has been helpful in educating you about the dangers of rust and how to spot signs of it in your own building. Remember, a little knowledge goes a long way. By understanding the risks of rust and taking steps to prevent and repair it, you can keep your building safe and sound for years to come. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.